My name is Brooke Ward, and I'm 31 years old. My mom and my stepdad were both big in making sure that I had a good knowledge of Christ, so we were always at church. I remember listening to the children's service one Sunday, and I knew immediately that I wanted to be a child of God, so I asked him into my heart. I thought I understood exactly what it meant to be a child of God, but really, I had no idea of just what all that would entail. Dustin and I met at the age of 19 and 22. I was a young single mother who was broken and had experienced a lot of heartache from my pre previous relationship. Dustin and I dated for a couple of years and we decided to get married and start our family. We found out that we were expecting a little boy. Shortly after he was born, I decided to go back to school, so I was no longer going to be working. Although my parents were helping us through this time, Dustin got caught up in working a lot, and then he started battling with an addiction. I immediately, without question, grabbed my kids and left. I filed for divorce on our two-year wedding anniversary. While Dustin was in and out of addiction, I would allow him to come in and out of our lives. And during one of those times, I got pregnant with our last baby, another little girl, and he had already relapsed and was no longer around when I found out. That brought me back to a place that I swore to myself I would never end up again after I went through a similar circumstance when I was 18. I was ashamed and so very angry at everyone, but especially God, because how could he allow me to go through this again? I was going to be going through another pregnancy alone and raising now three children by myself besides the constant help that my parents had always given. I struggled a lot during this time and didn't know which way to turn. I acted out. I wasn't a good mother, daughter, friend, employee, or person. I was living in constant hurt and anger. I found myself during that time in a situation that led me to take an anger management classes. When I completed the program, I decided that I wanted to go see a counselor, and I knew that I wanted a Christian-based program. So I reached out and I made an appointment. I learned a lot, but most, but most importantly, I learned to lean on God again, someone I was casting blame on for the way that my life was. I started to pray again, and I prayed hard. I prayed for the Lord to change my heart and to lead me to be a better person. I also prayed for him to protect Dustin and allow him to beat his addiction so that he could come back home and us be able to reunite our family. I always knew deep down that I didn't want to give up on Dustin just yet. After almost six years of Dustin battling with his addiction, we were able to bring him home, and this time it has been what we had hoped for, to be for good. I had started going to church here at Wiregrass with my best friend and her husband. So when he came home, we started going together. We decided to join a small group and rely on our church family to help us through this time and grow in our faith together. I knew almost immediately that God had placed us in this exact small group after I heard some of the testimonies that couples in our group had told. I felt it weighing heavy on my heart after that small group that it was time to surrender my life to God. I truly do not know where me or Dustin would be today had it not been for God. I talked to Dustin about my decision and we decided that this was something that we wanted to do together. We reached out to Brett Hempfield, who was our small group leader, one Sunday at church and told him the decision that we had made. So tonight, I'm here to be baptized because I have surrendered my life to Jesus and he is my Lord and Savior.